Hey guys, welcome. It has been a long time since I filmed a video, so bear with me. I have little Marty here with me, puppers. <laughs> so if you hear some munching or growling or snoring or any <laughs> weird noises, it's him, I promise. Um, so, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, like I said before, it's been a while. I haven't been filming as much because I've been busy with work, and then we got the dog, and then I got pregnant, and then we started renovating our house, all within like a couple of months. So, a lot has happened since the last time I filmed a video. I've posted some videos, but they've been more like vlog style, um, like events happening in my life and things like that. So anyway, if you're new to my channel and you've never watched my videos before, my name's Elena, or Ella for short. Um, I film beauty and lifestyle videos, and yeah, welcome. Um, okay, so I'm, I'll try not to make this intro too long. So I am currently very breathy, 35 and a half weeks pregnant with um, my little girl. So um, I've found these videos really, really helpful and I've watched a lot of them. And what I did was I had a notebook and I would watch them and write down their top recommendations like for what they're putting in their hospital bags. And then I would sort of like just tally mark next to those recommendations if in another video someone else mentioned the same thing. And that's sort of how I accumulated my list of what I should bring to the hospital to have my baby. Um, so, yeah, I did also look on Pinterest a lot uh, to get ideas for lists of what to bring when you're in labor and delivery. Um, the hospital did provide me with a list, but I felt like they provided it way too late. My bags were already packed. I've had my bags packed for a few months now because I've been considered... Um, a little bit more high risk so they thought um, a couple of times that the baby was coming early I've had a couple of scares so I just wanted to be prepared and have my bags packed we did have a day where we had to fully load the car because we thought the baby was coming so we have practiced that and um, yeah I'm pretty happy with all the things that I packed I feel like it may be a lot but I just want to be prepared it's my first baby I don't really know what to expect and I feel like you know, this happens quite a lot to a lot of people. I would also like to film like a follow-up video of like what I actually did use, what I did find helpful, but I also feel like with every pregnancy and everyone, we're also different and every pregnancy is so different. Even your second pregnancy or your third pregnancy, you might feel like you need different things than you did the first time. And yeah, I feel like, you know, it sort of differs depending from person to person, but I still find these videos quite helpful. I hope you find mine helpful in any way. Um, if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to ask. I'm sure by the time this video goes up, I'll either have the baby already or um, have experienced the labor, so I'll be able to answer some questions. So yeah, I do plan on filming um, another video, just so this one's not too long, of what I packed for baby as well. So look out for that one coming next. Once I put it up, I'll put a link in this video here so okay that's enough rambling let's get started with my hospital bag okay I don't want this video to be too shaky so once I show you like the layout of my bag I will then put the camera more steady and show you guys each thing individually but I just wanted to show you the actual bag that I'm bringing it looks big on camera but it's just a carry-on size wheelie bag um, it's the American tourism brand I got it from Meyer here in Australia and it was actually on sale. So I got like $100 off or something like that. So yeah, I actually bought it for our baby moon and it worked out really well and it just fits everything so well and I know it seems a bit big, like it's a lot of stuff for hospital but you never know how many days you're gonna be in hospital. 
Plus, I'm currently staying at my grandma's house, and once we leave the hospital with the baby, we'll be going back to our house, so I feel like I needed to pack extra things so that when we go home, I have what I need for when we're home. Um, so yeah, anyway, let me just open it up so you can see. Sorry, it's so shaky. So it's split up into two different compartments, so I've sort of made this one like clothes. And then this side is like, you know, necessities, toiletries, um, things like that. It zips open and there's more room inside. So I'll just put the camera up and then I can show you guys what's in here. Okay, so I'll start with clothes since it's the most boring part, I guess. Um, I feel like for everyone it's sort of the same thing. Just like comfy clothes. Um, you want to pack like... A size because you'll be like six months pregnant ish with your tummy when you leave hospital so you don't want to pack your original size that you were pre-pregnancy so um, I just have really stretchy things things that I wore like in the middle of my pregnancy and I bought a couple extra goodies like just for hospital as well so um, yes really sorry I'm so out of breath you guys it bothers me but what can you do Okay, so in this freezer bag, I've got some slippers and some flip-flops or thongs as they say here. <laughs> so these slippers I just got from Kmart, I think, or Big W, one of those. Um, really, really soft inside and they're pink. <laughs> um, and they have a hard sole on the bottom, so I thought they would be good. They were really, really inexpensive, I think like five or 10 bucks. So um, I'm happy to even just throw them out after I leave the hospital. I don't feel like I want to wear the same slippers that I wore in hospital around the house. So I'm happy just for some cheap slippers that I can chuck away after. And then these are just my flip flops for the shower or if I'm too hot to wear my slippers around and I just want to wear something easy, then I'll wear my flip flops. So yes, that's that. Um, and then as far as clothes go, I've got this really comfy robe that I can also wear out of hospital if I want to. So this is from Kmart. It's really, really soft, dark gray, has pockets and a little sash. To tie around it's really really warm even though it's quite thin um, I didn't want anything too heavy or too bulky of a robe just because I wanted to be able to move around freely and um, I'm more comfortable wearing like my big fluffy robes at home so I thought this would be good for hospital and because it's not so big and fluffy it'll be easy to breastfeed and things like that that's my idea anyway so that's that and then I have some tops, so pretty much everything I got from like Kmart and Target. So this is just one of those like nursing tops and I got it in a size um, 14. And it's got long sleeves because I'm having my baby in winter, it's already starting to get quite cold. So um, I'm glad that I got some stuff that has long sleeves. I also have some nursing tops. I think I have two in here. Um, oh, this one's unclipped. So basically, yeah, it's like those ones that unclip so you can pop your boob out and feed your baby and it's got like a built-in bra. So this one I also got in a size 14. I'm pretty sure everything I have is in a size 14. Um, yeah, it's just those plain black camis. Uh, last time I checked, Big W were having a sale on them, um, so I would check there first because I feel like they have more sales than other stores. I got this one from Target and it was a bit more expensive and then I ended up going back and buying more from uh, Big W and those ones I have at home. So this shirt is similar to the first one I showed you, just short sleeve in case I feel warm. And then I have this 
striped one. This one's in a size 16. So a little bit bigger. I just want it to be really comfortable so everything that I have is like really flowy and easy. Okay, this one is one of those nursing um, maternity dresses. So I got it in the maternity section at Kmart. It's kind of like a maxi dress um, with sleeves and then it has this section at the front that pops up so you can get the boob out. And this one is in a size 14. And then I have a sleep shirt. This one I got from Target and it has buttons. It's just like a nice taupey color with some pink lining up there. And I just thought buttons would be easy for breastfeeding um, and it's long sleeves. Well, sort of like three quarter length sleeves. It's really, really thick. So I think it'll be really nice and warm. And I just figured sleep shirts or like nightgowns would be the best thing for hospital in case they need to like check me or in case I've had like an emergency Caesar. Um, I don't really wanna have pants on because I feel it would be really uncomfortable against the scar, like where the stitches are. So um, I wanted to find those nightgowns that unclip sort of like the tank top that I have, but I went to like literally every store and I couldn't find them. So I just ended up getting normal nightgowns like this. I got this one because it has stars. So my theme for the baby is stars. So her nursery will have stars in it and I've gotten quite a lot of gifts and swaddles and blankets and things that have stars. So I'm like completely obsessed at the moment. <laughs> so anytime I see something with stars, I'm like, oh my gosh. And this one has like, not a built-in bra, but like a built-in section in here for like over your um, boobs if you don't want to wear like a bra. Um, a bit more comfortable. Again, another nightgown with stars. Oh, both of these nightgowns are from Kmart at the moment. And they're size 14 to 16, so really nice and flowy. This one's got little tassels on it. And I just figured like, because they're really like easy to slip on, um, I could just take the whole thing off or just slip one shoulder out. Um, we'll see how we go. And then I am packing one pair of leggings just in case I'm not sure if I will need them or not. I believe this is a size 14, yep. And I get all of my black leggings from Kmart. They're just so cheap and stretchy and they last me ages before they get like holes or rips in them. So, yes. Now, I've got some breastfeeding bras. I really struggled with this, like with knowing what size, um, and I feel like I might have bought it too early. So what my midwife told me is that you wanna get a bra that fits you around the waist, um, around the waist, like, you know, around your body, fine, but a cup size bigger so that when you put a fist into the bra, it fits. So a fist over your boob um, and it fits like that because that's how engorged your breasts will be once your milk comes in. Um, I know your milk doesn't come in for the first couple of days. So I do have a think a size, what's this size? I have two different sizes. So this one's a 14, and these ones don't go by cup size. And this one's a 16. So I just got like one that's a bit bigger, one that's a little bit smaller, and I'll just have to see which one fits. I ended up going to Big W when they were having the sale on the nursing tank tops. And I bought um, another bra that's more by cup size. So I think it was like a 14 around and then just an extra cup than I normally am. And I tried it on in the fitting room and it wasn't too tight around my body, um, but I was able to fit a fist in the cup. So I thought I'd get that one. But as far as for the hospital, I don't think I'll need that one. So I'll just try these and see how I go. Last thing, oh no, not last thing, <laughs> um, but fuzzy socks and they have like grippies on the bottom. I've had these for ages. Um, I could not tell you where I got them from, but yeah, just any 
fuzzy warm pair of socks. Okay, now I also have some thinner socks just in case I don't want to wear the um, thicker ones. Um, and these ones I just got from Typo. And then as far as underwear goes, I got two different kinds. So I got this kind that's like a little bit more silk type feeling, um, full bottom ones. And they're from Kmart and this is in a size 14. I got these ones because they don't have like a seam line. It's very, very like thin at the top. So I thought just in case, you know, cesarean type of thing, um, it won't like rub against the scar and it will go like over the belly. And then I also got these ones that are more like granny panty type. So um, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. I have like, I think 10 of each cause just like I wasn't sure what, like how many I was gonna need or which ones I'll use, so I just wanted to be prepared, so I brought both, and I bought like two packets of each, and if I don't end up using them, they were so cheap, like $5, $3 a packet, so um, I'm happy to just throw them away after my postpartum ends, so, yeah. No, 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 Marty, no, I can't like this, sorry. No, 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 come on, come on, come on. Okay, I also have some breast pads. So these ones are from Right Aid, is the brand. I just got them, oops, my slippers just fell. I just got them from Woolies, so. I have a pack of those in there. I have some pads, the really, really big like overnight pads. Um, I don't remember what brand these are, but yeah, just some extra pads. I have a plastic bag for dirty clothes. And I have these Medela Milk Collection shells. Um, I heard these are really good because sometimes when you're breastfeeding from one breast, the other breast will leak. So um, I thought just that's such a waste of milk. So this is a good idea. Blah, 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 I can't talk. So I thought these would be a good idea because they just like sit in your bra and collect the extra milk. So yes, Marty, investigating <laughs> what's inside the bag. Um, and then my midwife also suggested that you bring a washcloth with you. Um, Marty, come on. <laughs> um, that you bring a washcloth with you because, um, you get really sweaty when you're in delivery. And the ones that they offer you at the hospital, Marty's climbing me. <laughs> the ones that they offer you at the hospital are really, really thin. It's like paper towel, basically. And she showed us when she did like the labor ward tour. So definitely wanted to pack my own washcloth. Okay, now we'll move on to the next section. Okay, I lied. I have one more clothing item and it's some trackies. So I just got these really nice cozy trackies just in case I want to wear pants on the way home in case it's too cold. Um, originally I packed that maxi dress to go home but it might be a bit too chilly and if I feel comfortable to wear pants I wanted to have the option so got some new ones there. Oh. He wants to be part of the video. So cute. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so I also packed, sorry, it's a bit loud in my grandma's house. Um, I also packed my own cup. I prefer drinking with a straw and I knew if I wanted to have water, I just wanted to have my own cup. I don't like water bottles. I just, 
how I found them really like um, they make my water smell and I'm really sensitive to smells since I've been pregnant and I just don't like the feeling of the plastic so I wanted to have my own cup at the hospital so that's what I have there um, and then I have some um, makeup like sorry baby brain what are these called uh, large makeup pads that I just got from Woolies. Um, I heard that these are good for like rubbing cream or anything on the baby or even like yourself. So yeah, I just wanted to have a couple of those available. Um, I also have the Frida Baby Frit It, Frit, Frit It, Frit It, the mom washer. Um, so this is like the Perry bottle. Um, that's what it looks like there. I heard this is really good for if you have like stitches or even just like natural birth, you like burn down there when you go to the toilet for the first time. So, um, yeah, I really wanted to get one because they don't provide peri bottles in, um, hospital here in Australia. So I wanted to have my own. So I got one of those and then I have these multi mam compresses for cracked sore or swollen nipples. I um, heard that you get really, really sore at the very beginning um, of breastfeeding and sometimes you can crack and bleed. So I definitely wanted to be prepared and I heard really good reviews about these. I was able to just get mine from Priceline. Um, they were a bit expensive. So I think there's 12 in here and it was probably Oh, I want to say around like 30 bucks probably. I can't remember now. So yeah, they're pretty expensive, but everyone says that they're super worth it and the reviews were great. So definitely wanted to get some of those. I also have a packet of face wipes. These are just the Costco brand. Um, I just wanted to have some face wipes to obviously wipe my face. <laughs> um, as far as toiletry goes, I have some shampoo and conditioner. Um, I'm not sure if I will wash my hair in hospital, but I just wanted to be prepared just in case I wanted to wash my hair. Um, and I just got these travel Tresemme ones. It's not the shampoo that I normally use, but I just thought, you know, for a one-time thing, it'll be fine. I also have some Lansino Lanolin for uh, sore cracked nipples. Um, Again, heard really good reviews on this, so wanted to have some for myself. I also have some unscented deodorant because when you first have the baby, um, what they do is put the baby on you straight away, skin to skin, so they can get to know your smell. And I heard that if you're wearing perfume or scented deodorant that um, it could sometimes mess up the baby's smell. Um, I don't know, that's just what I heard from a few different people. So I wanted to have a um, unscented one just for the hospital and for like those postpartum weeks so she could smell me and not the smell of my deodorant. Okay, other toiletries I have, I just have this clear container. Um, this is what I always bring with me when I go on holidays. Um, or somewhere overnight, so I just always have this packed, so I literally just chucked it into my hospital bag. Um, so what it has, is it, has in it <laughs> is some ear cleaners, um, a free shape from KMS, so this is like that blow-dry solution that um, helps your hair dry faster, so I thought that would be good in hospital so my hair is not dripping wet. You spray it in and then you quickly like just blast it dry with a blow dryer and then it dries super, super quick because I have quite long hair. Um, I also have some Fix Plus. I love this. It keeps me really refreshed and um, I think when you're hot and sweaty from labor, it might be nice just to spray this on my face every once in a while. I did bring a bit of makeup with me, so I have my Urban Decay um, All Nighter Setting Spray as well. I have a leave-in conditioner for my hair. Um, I just put it in one of those like um, little Muji bottles and I just wrote hair leave-in on the side so I know what it is. 
So the hair leave-in that I use is, um, I think it's called the Three More Inches, and I get it from Mecca Cosmetics. And then I have another one of those Muji containers, and this has my face wash in it. I use the Philosophy face wash. And then I have some Travel Dry Shampoo, just the Batiste brand. And I have some clear rubber bands in case I want to get my hair out of my face and I can't find any of my other hair ties. So that's that. And then I have this container here. This one has some... No, Marty. No, 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 no. No. This one has some clear um, elastics. These are my favorite. So I just have some spare just in case. A headband just in case. You can see a lot of this is just in case. <laughs> I got this really lovely hand cream. Um, I heard that you get really dry when you're in labor and sometimes it's just nice to have something comforting and soothing. So I thought I would bring this lovely hand cream with me. Um, So, oh gosh, mommy's struggling to talk. <laughs> I also have some spray hand sanitizer, some toothpaste, and two toothbrushes, one for me, one for my husband Andrew, just in case he forgets his or you know, just wants to use a chuck away one. We have that available. So I'll pack that properly in a minute. Then I have, oops. Well, let's go through this. Then I have some, this packet that I got from Chemist Warehouse. It's the Gaia brand for baby. Um, so it has baby massage oil, moisturizer, shampoo, um, bath wash, and um, like a bedtime bath wash. So that's that packet there. Might not need it. They might provide their own that they use at the hospital while you're there. Um, but I just wanted to have some stuff just in case they didn't. And I didn't need Andrew to rush out to get it. I wanted to be prepared. Okay, as far as makeup goes, I'm just bringing this packet here. It looks like a lot, but it's all my necessities and it's all my like travel size stuff to make things a bit easier. So I'll show you what products I packed because I feel like, you know, it's a bit fun. A bit different for everybody, but fun to know what everyone packs. So I have my favorite foundation, which is the Hourglass Vanish Stick. I have the Step 1 um, Redness Corrector from Makeup Forever because since I've been pregnant, I have been getting quite a red face. I mean, this makeup is purely just, um, you know, for if we want to take photos and stuff. I have a travel-sized It Cosmetic CC cream. If it focuses... There we go. <laughs> I have a little serum from Drunk Elephant. There we go. <laughs> Some Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. This is just a smoothing primer from MAC. It's the Prep and Prime one that rolls up. You can easily spread it. I just have like quick makeup products. Um, Laura Mercier setting powder, my favorite. A Real Techniques sponge. All of my travel sized brushes. Some Benefit Gimme Brow. Becca highlighter in opal, the travel size one. My favorite eyeshadow from Tom Ford. This is the color Naked Bronze. So it has like a cream bronzy color on the bottom 
and a glittery gold on the top. It doesn't look impressive in the pot, but when it's on your eyes, it's super, super beautiful. And then I have this palette here for blush bronzer and it comes with another highlight. This is the Hamptons Weekender Contour Palette from Tarte. So yeah, that's all makeup wise that I'm bringing. Oh, and mascara, the Lancome Hypnostrama mascara. As far as lip stuff goes, I don't really, I haven't really been loving wearing um, lipstick lately, so I am just planning on wearing chapstick and I know I'm going to want to kiss my baby over and over and over again, so I don't really want to have color on my lips. I could have brought a liquid lipstick with me, but that's just too much to faff around and worry about. So, um, yeah, I just want to focus on spending time with my baby and have a little bit of makeup if I want to make myself look nice for photos and stuff. So that's all it's for. You can't go to the hospital with me. You can't fit in the bag. <laughs> you can't go in the bag. What are you doing? You can't go in the bag. I'm sorry. Mommy's almost finished and then I'll play with you. Okay. A couple last things. Um, I have a packet of Depends. I heard so many ladies recommend these. Um, they were just like, you know, the mesh panties you get from the hospital are awesome, but I don't know if um, the hospital I'm having my baby at in Sydney um, provides mesh panties. So if they do, great, but I'm bringing these just in case. Hey, you want attention? Is that why you're being naughty? Sorry, my memory card got full. Um, so last things I have in here is my Yui Boom and the charger for playing music in the hospital room. I also have an extra carry bag for um, like, you know, if people bring us things or if we get like too many extra things and we need something to just like chuck stuff in. This is one of those like really big shopping bags. I have a mirror, if I need it, a portable charger, this one is the Anchor brand, it's already charged and ready to go, ready to use, and then a blanket for the baby, it wouldn't fit in her bag so I've just packed it in mine. So that is everything in my hospital bag, I am also bringing this Ergo Baby nursing pillow with me. Um, we'll keep it in the car, and if I need it, Andrew will run down and get it for me. And then we also have our bassinet that goes on our pram to uh, carry baby out, so that will also be packed in my boot when we're going to hospital. Um, it's still in the box, so I can't show you now, but it's really easy to assemble, so Andrew can quickly do that when we're ready to be discharged from hospital. And then I have a things to pack last minute list, which contains paperwork folder, my wallet, and my uh, pregnancy yellow card from the hospital, my phone and charger, my glasses, all of this, a lot of it will be in my purse, so it's literally just a matter of me making sure I grab my purse when we leave. Um, a notepad and pen, so, um, you know, in case I need to take notes of anything that the doctors or midwives are telling me. A hairbrush and some snacks for Andrew. I'm not allowed to eat when I'm in labor. Um, at least that's what they told me. At other hospitals, it may be different. So yeah, in case you're wondering, I'm having my baby at RPA Hospital in Sydney. Um, sometimes I think it's helpful to know that because um, I know I watched so many of these videos and I found one from another lady who had her baby at RPA and I was so excited because, you know, it's the same hospital so you get to hear the experience and you feel like it adapts to you more because it's the same hospital. So. Yeah, that's everything I'm bringing for myself and postpartum type stuff. If you have any questions or suggest anything, let me know. I'm not sure when this video will be up. It may be up before I deliver, it may be up after, but your suggestions are still welcome. 
So yeah, have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.